Guten Tag, this is Eric Engine Engineer. Today I want to talk to you about Magica Voxel. We will see how to get the models from Magica to Unreal. Especially we will prepare them for the sweet, sweet Unreal materials. This is not about how to use Magica Voxel. Download it and tinker around. Explore it yourself. It is a light and simple voxel editor with a very nice selection of modeling tools. Maybe you will find an even better way to do this. I don't know. I really like this tool to block stuff out. Make placeholder objects eyeball the size and proportions whatever you can think of together with the unreal materials we can also make the models look really really good if you're not interested in the materials we will start in the most basic way let's talk about the prerequisites for the material workflow we need magica blender and i highly suggest the blender to unreal plugin if you cannot access the github file then follow all the instructions from epic and of course a nice installation of Unreal, because Unreal is the best engine on the world. You have made the most beautiful model in Magica, but don't know how to proceed? The question is, do you really just want to get the model out of Magica and slap it into Unreal? If yes, use the OBJ export, you're done. I will show it to you. Press export, select the object, format, alias, wavefront, save, open Unreal, open your export folder of Magica, drag and drop, import, and you're done. There's nothing left to do. Now we saw the simple export, but if you are like me, you maybe want to use one or more materials in Unreal or do further adjustments in Blender, then now your time has come. We want to export this. We will select now the Stanford Polygon Format, PLY, hit save. In my case, I want to replace it. Yes, we are going to fire up Blender, open the general file, and as you see, I installed the Blender to Unreal plugin from Epic, link in the description box down below. We want to press A to select everything, delete it, go to File, go to Import, select Stanford PLY, navigate to the folder used for Magica Voxel, open the export, open our level 10 PLY, import PLY, and we're done. We imported the model in Blender. Activating the statistics in Blender, we see well here's a lot of geometry going on which we don't need if we go into the edit mode we will see what exactly is happening if you select a face and try to move it these faces are not connected to fix this problem we will select all the faces pressing a then we're going to press m and merge the vertices by distance now we removed about 13,000 vertices and now our faces are all wielded together we still Still have the problem of a very high triangle count and we are going to solve this problem by using the decimate modifier we want to add the decimate modifier by selecting it decimate we want to use this banana mode go back to the object mode in the object mode we can now apply this modifier after application of this modifier you see we only have left 1100 triangles let's go back to the edit mode now that we reduced the triangle count we can hit a press u to make a smart uv project i want to increase the island margin to 0.01 press ok go to the uv editing have a look this looks good for me to fix the triangulation of our model we are going again to the edit mode press a to select everything now on the upper left corner we will select the face menu select triangulate faces with this triangulation, we make sure that no strange smoothing is going to appear because every 3D program triangulates these faces differently. Now that we triangulated our object, push this object into the mesh folder. I want to rename this simple material. Now we want to export this to Unreal. Fire up Unreal. You have to make sure that in the project settings, searching for Python, this enable remote execution checkbox is checked only if this box is checked your plugin will work now that we checked that the remote execution of python scripts is enabled we go to pipeline export send to unreal if we get this message log everything worked fine navigate to the main level assets and you find the model imported we will now alter a material from the starter content to make the texture scalable i want to select the wood oak material by double click on it to change the scale of our material we want to 
search for a texture coordinate. Make a multiplication. Multiply this with a parameter. We want to select the scale parameter. Call this scale. Set the default value to 1. We're going to put this into every UV input. We have this color texture sample. We want to put this into the normal texture sample. And we also want to feed this as an input for the macro texture variation. So... beautiful we can get rid of all the other stuff nobody needs comments as you see this should not change anything in our material at the moment by right clicking on our material we want to create a material instance double click the material instance and now select the scale parameter now with this scale parameter we can now change the scale of the material we want to use this material as our material for the model as you see in the moment, the material is quite big on our model. So let's increase the scale parameter. We select 25 and I will just drag and drop it into our level and increase the scale. This is just a size I know which works good. Just use 200 in X and 200 in Y and 100 in Z direction. It's looking good. Now I placed the player character in the start of the maze and I noticed I forgot something. To use this really as a maze, to set this use complex collisions as simple, you have to set this dependent on which kind of models you really do. Now we're going to play test this and as you see this looks all beautiful. To reduce the headache you will get with the UV texturing and light stuff, I will just set this to movable. If you want to, for example, make a different material on the ground we will have to make our multi-material approach we start with a fresh and clean PLY import for our multi-material approach we want now to make geometry which supports multi-material in blender we need different faces for different materials this is very important we will create two material slots in blender and assign the faces to these slots let's create two material slots i will just create material one i will call this walls i will create another material call this floor now that we created these materials we want to assign faces to the materials we will do this by going to the orthogonal view putting this in the middle we want to select the wireframe view to see all the faces and select also the occluded faces select all the faces we want to have as walls select the wall material and click assign now that we assigned this we can hide them by pressing h after hiding them we only have left floor faces we want to select them all select the floor material and assign them press alt h to unhide everything to see if all work just select the walls by clicking on the wall material and and press select now we only selected the faces of the walls this is beautiful we are going to merge the vertices of the walls select the walls select the wall material select all the vertices which belong to the wall press m by distance now we're going to do the same with the floor select m merge by distance and now we will continue with the same workflow as before we want to use decimate modifier select the planar mode go to object mode apply the decimate go to edit mode again and you will see that here is something different now this face is now constructed out of two faces you see we have a few more triangles and this is what i meant that we also have to create a geometry which supports more materials continue as before press a select everything smart uv project press ok with the island margin 0.01 select again everything and now merge again everything by distance because these are now two parts two different parts and i want them to be one part after this a final merge go into the edit mode select everything now go to faces triangulate faces we fixed our triangulation looks beautiful push it again into the mesh collection i want to rename this to multi material 
hit enter, go to pipeline, hit export, send to Unreal. Uh, this is how it looks now. It worked in Unreal. We see we have now two different materials, floor and walls. We don't really need them, but whatever, we will leave them. Open up the static mesh. You see we have in this material pane of the details. We see there are now two slots, one called walls, one floor. For the walls slot, we will take our oak material, our instance, which look pretty good. And now to see how this looks in our level, we will just replace this level 10 simple mat with the multi mat as you see everything looks fine we just have to set use complex collision as simple now we can play test this and as you see we have now the multi-material support if you want to use more materials you will have to make more material slots in blender and just follow the way i started the most important part in the multi-material approach is that you do not merge in the beginning different materials with each other this will cause problems in your decimate modifier as long as these different faces of different materials are not merged the decimate modifier will not connect them with each other to one face but after the decimation you can merge the remaining faces to each other to get one solid final object before the triangulation. Now you can use all your sweet voxel models with as many materials as you can find in Unreal. If you like this tutorial and want to see more of game development in Unreal, go on my Twitch channel Eric Engine Engineer. I stream every Monday and Thursday in the evening. I also have Discord. Links in the description down below. And as always, keep developing!